Previously on Beauty and the Geek, the mansion was blown away by the new Notley. Head to toe hot. And improved health. I got very emotional. I was so proud of her. And surprise dates. You and I are going to get on really well. Almost tore the teams apart. Jimmy, it's time for your decision. I'm sticking with Mackenzie. I'm still mad. Tonight, it is time for your makeovers. Yeah! Yeah! It's out with the old. Ah! And in with even more amazing transformations. I've been made over and I'm looking forward to taking my new look into the rest of the game. I'm definitely going to keep up this new look. You can't just get a new look and then ditch it in a day. You've got to keep rocking it for a while. Hello everyone and welcome. Hi Daddy. Geeks, this week we'll see you take centre stage as you prepare for the performance of a lifetime. Intensive performance. Uh, I would guess like this sort of thing, I think, is apparently... Maybe that's hip-hop. That's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it, uh-huh, uh-huh. I dabble a little bit on the tin whistle. But more on that later. First up, beauties. It's time to go from Wonder Bra to Wonder Woman, as you will be creating your comic book alter egos in a superhero challenge. I've never read a comic in my whole life, and I probably will never read a comic in the rest of my life. But geeks, you won't be getting off that easily. You will be taking your beauty's ideas and creating the costumes to hide their secret identities. My fashion design skills are probably close to non-existent, and I haven't touched a sewing machine in more than 10 years. Good luck, everyone. I'll see you at the great unveiling of these new superheroes. See ya. This is so cool. After we found out about the superhero challenge, Mackenzie and I went outside with our comic books and got to work. <gasps> Supergirl! Oh, she looks hot. She's amazing. Oh, and Harley and Ivy. The superhero name can make or break a character. Supermodel. Okay. Jimmy was a little bit frustrated because obviously this is his favourite thing. Oh. So I think he was kind of just sitting there like, I really want to say something, but I can't say anything. The killer supermodel. Killer supermodel. Is not exactly the best superhero name I've ever heard. How, how did the killer supermodel get her death stare powers? She just woke up one day and it was like that. I don't care what I'm called. You've got to come up with something. I can't think of any. Everything I thought of didn't sound very erotic. Cheerleader, you work at the bar, Spirit salon. Spirit Sparkle. Spirit Sparkle, there we go. Captain Spirit Sparkle. Yeah. Awesome. The name, I'm thinking Tan Man. Tan Man, that's awesome. Troy was very specific about what he wanted, which made my job very easy. Power's gonna be to tan people. <laughs> tan Man is definitely a big part of me. <laughs> I like to keep tan as um, pacey is just not the way to be. Oh, I can just put you in spandex. It's the tightest you can possibly find. It's super tight. Super tight. All right, I'm thinking Naughty Jordy Bang Bang. Jordan said her superhero would be Naughty Jordy Bang Bang. I thought that sounded funny. So the outfit would be like tassels, 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 no tassels. Catchphrases, things that you say. Bang Bang! 
think our catchphrase is bang bang. So after study, the other geeks and I were given an hour to try to get together the costumes for the challenge. Sarah loves pink and leopard print, and the leopard print provided inspiration for Sarah to create Luscious Leopard Lady. Pink and I got black. Dolly's idea for a superhero is that of a ballet dancing superhero. So I'm gonna need these here, need the insignia here. Happy Helen. Doing it. Yep. Corset this way, that way. Good Lord, Jimmy. I asked Helen which way the corset was up. Okay, think about if you were a girl, right? What do you have two of? Yep, right, okay, yes. fine. Point made. <laughs> oh, it's not very rich. Excellent, yeah. Just right. Awesome. The, the concept Jordan had, had given me was a, a cowgirl with a, a pink skirt. We didn't have a pink skirt. So I uh, had to improvise a bit. Testing. Not very comfortable. That'll work. <laughs> It's time for a challenge. We arrived at this warehouse and there's this is long catwalk. I'm ready to get Tan Man out and I'll show everyone what he's got. Beauties, it's time to see whether your geek has realised your dream by turning you into a real crime fighting superhero rather than a real crime against fashion. I think Julian would have tried his hardest, but I wasn't feeling overly confident. Joining us to judge your creations, we have representing King's Comics, Australia's largest comic book distributor, Jim Papa Gregorio, managing director of Black House Comics, Baden Kurgan, and finally, the artist behind DC Comics Wonder Woman, Nicola Scott. Having a genuine artist from DC Comics on the panel is making me squeal a little bit. These judges will be choosing their favourite based on the design most likely to become the next big thing to hit comic book stands. Geeks, prepare to introduce your new beauty superhero to the judges. Stop it. No way, that is disgusting. My first thought when I see my costume was I wanted to kill Julian. Yuck. Introducing Naughty Geordie Bang Bang. I wasn't happy with my costume, but the only way that we had a chance if I just went for it. <laughs> a dancer from Sydney, she was once walking when a car backfired as it passed her by. The exhaust fumes poisoned her, twisting her mind, inspiring her to become Naughty Geordie Bang Bang. Bang Bang! Naughty Geordie, the superhero, may not actually be that different from Naughty Geordie, the uh, real person. I don't think he realised that I had padding for boobs on my bum. Can I just get you to turn around for a second? No! <laughs> Can you explain what they are? Well, what they really are is he's put a boob tube on my <laughs> skirt and they're the cup holders. I should have noticed that. Killer supermodel. Mackenzie looks fantastic. She's making this costume work. I'm actually pretty proud of this. Found the pink power lipstick in an abandoned warehouse, which gave her the incredible powers of the kiss of death. The eyes on the chest was supposed to be because of my killer stare. I don't really think he thought too much into how it would actually look. Oh, I've lost an eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> Two little beady eyeballs in positions that they shouldn't be in. <laughs> Deep beneath New York lives Luscious Leopard Lady. <laughs> With her triple threat. Sarah is wearing the costume extremely well, so I think I might have done well in this challenge. And with her teeth, she can induce a powerful seizure that will end in death. Very nice, Leopard Lady. Thank you. 
Thank you. I felt quite ridiculous. <laughs> Ten men. Still flashing my shield, squirting my tanning oil. I was in character before I even had the costume on. May the world ever be pasty. Nice. <laughs> Long live Tan Man. <laughs> She can dance, villains don't stand a chance. Dolly Dancer takes to the streets. Those without poise or rhythm beware. Dolly Dancer was what I imagine a Care Bears vomit would look like. I've got these ribbons coming off my wrist and I'm like, what am I supposed to do with these? So I just started spinning them around the place. I opened the door to the backstage room where my costume was. Oh my God. What is that? I was just like, oh my God. Like, I couldn't even look at it. Why is there a feather? When we return. Gilbert, Jimmy, Julian, Bendigo's, it is time for your makeovers. <laughs> The geeks are set for the transformation of their lives. Ah! And will the new look Gilbert take Dolly's breath away? Lady and gentlemen, Captain Spirit Sparkle! When Maddie first walked onto the catwalk, she was perhaps not as cheerful as a cheerleader might be. Captain Spirit Sparkle, with her signature move, Cartwheel Assault! I definitely was feeling so unconfident to wear that in front of the judges. I don't think we really thought it through very well. I don't know a lot about comics. My pom-poms are filled with special glitter, and when I shake them, the hectic glitter comes out, and it's toxic, and it just kills everyone. Yeah. I'm not sure that Maddie's character would bring a lot of cheer. Uh, perhaps more so fear. I think we've got a good chance of winning this. Helen's done a good job. I've done a good job. The costume's great. I think the performance was excellent. Well, guys, congratulations. We certainly have some inventive and colourful costumes. Judges, which superhero design have you chosen as your favourite? There's one character that really stood out as uh, being someone that we can see being worked into one of the quirkier books. And the winner is... Naughty Jody Bang Bang. <laughs> well done. When my name was caught out, I was just so happy. Bang Bang! <laughs> I was very proud of Jordan because uh, with her concept and her delivery, she won the challenge. Well, Jordan and Julian, once again, you find yourselves in the winner's circle. Safe for another week, but also have to choose another team to send to elimination. Good luck with your decision. All right, geeks. In preparation for your challenge tomorrow, you're gonna need something a little extra. You're going to need confidence and style. Gilbert, Jimmy, Julian, Bendigo's, it is time for your makeovers. Yeah! Makeover! Oh man, I'm so happy. I cannot begin to put into words how excited I am for the makeover. I'd be very sorry to say goodbye to one year's worth of moustache growing. Yes, a crack makeover squad led by fashion guru Henry Roth will be re-entering the mansion tomorrow and will have you looking and feeling like Helen and Lachlan. And trust me when I tell you this, you will need it for the next challenge. I'll see you back at the mansion. Thanks, Thanks, man. Man. So after your makeover, what are you going to do if Dolly thinks you look heaps hot? I'll probably feel a lot more confident about myself. Are you going to, like, kiss her? Oh, I'd certainly like to. Gilbert has a little thing for Dolly and vice versa. 
it's really strange. Like, I have obvious feelings for him and he has really obvious feelings for me. I can't wait to see what Gilbert's gonna look like. I'm really, really excited. Um, yeah, he's gonna look sexy, I think. <laughs> uh, would you make the first move on Gilbert if he doesn't? I don't know, it, it depends. Stop being such a baby. You've had like three weeks already. Kissing Dolly is something that I think would be a lot easier for me to confidently do after the makeover. After your makeover, if you don't kiss Dolly, I'm going to kiss Dolly. OK. That's a deal? I'll shake on that. It was time to meet Henry Roth for my makeover. Julian, Julian. Hello, Mr Roth. Lovely to meet you. Pleased to meet you. I assume uh, I will be given some interesting analysis on my personality converted into advice on, on clothing and fashion. And I just hope it's accurate. Let's make a contract, OK? Can you agree with me that we are going to take the best of Julian, the adventurer, the person that wants to try something new, we are going to take a layer off you. We're going to shed off a layer like a lizard. Come with me. What do we have here? Julian's style is an old grandfather who's about to die. Oh, I can't wait to say goodbye to the bow tie. The first thing that's got to go, hopefully the braces. You know, he does brush his teeth four times a day, but, you know, sometimes they're still constantly. Food. Hey, Julian. Uh, how are you going? Good, thanks. How good, you? good. You all ready to have the braces off? Yes. We've been waiting a long time. Uh, let's hop on and let's get going. I believe I've had my braces on for about one and a half years, so I'll be very happy to get them off finally. Very happy. Good. Let's get them off. I see a very tall, fabulous, potentially looking guy, red hair that most women would go nuts for. Gilbert needs a makeover, not just because obviously he looks like a gorilla, but just because on the inside he's a really beautiful person and he needs to bring that out. I suppose that my look right now can be described either as angry pirate or paddle pop lion. If I scrape away what I'm seeing, get past the hair and, the, and, the, and, and all this other stuff that's there, I reckon honestly, potentially, you could be a model. Okay. I'm hoping that I come out of it looking half attractive, to be honest. Right, Ginny, welcome Hello. to the world of waxing. I do not, nor have I ever waxed any part of my body. So, just so I understand the process, you're going to pour hot wax upon my body <laughs> and then rip it off. Yes, that's pretty much it. I am a very hirsute gentleman. I have a, a full Wookiee-like pelt. Oh! Oh! Ah! Ah! Coming up... My moustache makes me me. Will Bendigoos go all the way? And stand by for the incredible transformations revealed. How are you? Good, thanks. How are you? Not too bad. I'm Tanya. I'm Julian. Hi, Julian. I'm going to be doing your spray tanning today. If you just want to pop in the tent. We're getting spray tans. Apparently the girls keep saying it. it's like slimming and attractive and all this. It seems a bit bizarre to me. And the other one? Great. I've done a lot of reading on your dossier. I know that you love bikes. True. My friend, we're turning you into a biker. <laughs> A biker? Yeah. I am open to the idea of change, but to be made over like a biker. I am understandably reluctant. These look like they're from just another time, hey? I know. Bendigus' style right now is like from a whole another time. He's just like stepped out of the past and living in 2011. I don't know, I just, I really want to see Bendy in just like jeans and t-shirts and casual wear. Normal clothes. <laughs> Joey Scandizo, how are you? How are we? This Hi. is Mr. Julian. Julian, how are you doing? The hair. The hair. The hair. The hair. Um, I hope you get some more of it. 
and I want him to join a little bit of the skate culture, the skater culture, the skater okay. boy. Leave those tools and you ready for this, mate? Of course. Take a seat, my friend. Can't wait till they get their makeovers and they have to go through this. We'll have to do ourselves and then we'll have to do them. <laughs> We'll have to compete for bathroom time. Oh. You know, the geeks may think it's silly that the beauties take so long to make themselves look good in the morning and, and we are constantly touching ourselves up during the day and, like, basically what it is, if you don't feel good on the outside, you know, your inside's not going to shine. Looking good takes time. <laughs> I agree. That's why you take so long. <laughs> <laughs> My hair is nothing to be proud of. It's not very healthy or attractive, and I don't really maintain it at all. I look like a werewolf. I'm hoping that I can get away with more of a vampire. I'm quite aware that Dolly's very uncomfortable with beards. Hopefully we can get around that hurdle. How are you feeling? Serious. I can tell. I'm kind of like shaking with you. Uh, why? I'm about to say goodbye to a friend and say hello to a me that I left behind. At the moment, I wholeheartedly believe the best cultivated feature about me is my moustache. It makes me me. You know what? You're an inspiration to me, my friend. You really are. Good luck. Can we please take the moustache and the old Bendigoos away? I have very much enjoyed having a moustache. If anybody is to liquidate my pride and joy, it shall be by my own hand. Lachlan and I had a really good experience with the makeover. We both got killer haircuts and a really nice new way of dressing and that does wonders for your confidence. I'm really hoping the other guys are going to come through this looking absolutely marvellous. Hello everyone. Hi Bernard. The remaining four geeks have been put through the Henry Roth style machine. The hair, the clothes, the attitude, even the teeth. <laughs> Nothing has been spared to give these guys a complete geek upgrade. I was just over the moon because I, I just knew how they all felt and how much this meant to them. Well, beauties and geeks, he's a biochemist who's discovered a new formula for looking hot. <laughs> <laughs> I was extremely looking forward to Julian's makeover. I couldn't imagine it, I couldn't wait, and I just, I didn't know what to expect. Of course, it's nice when people say they appreciate you for what's on the inside. But uh, I'd like to be as interesting on the outside as well. Ladies, prepare yourselves for Julian. I don't think I dress very stylishly for a molecular biologist or pretty much anyone. I'm very excited and happy to get a makeover. I'd hope to look as confident in my dress as I probably am in molecular biology. Ladies, prepare yourselves for Julian! He was a skater boy. It was awesome. Oh my god. Give me a spin. Yeah, so Jordan was pretty happy with how I looked and very surprised. She even used the H word for hot. Oh my god. Look at those pearly whites. The braces were off. The smile didn't look evil anymore. The smile was awesome. I'm like, please don't stop smiling. Watch out, girls. <laughs> you see his hair so bad. Yes, the hair is good too. Oh! <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah, get bent.
All right, congratulations, Julian. Skater boy, you can now join the group. Thanks, Bennett. Yay! I'm definitely better looking now, post makeover with primarily no beard and beautiful hair. <laughs> it's been an emotional ride for all of these guys, particularly this one. He's a history fanatic with an eccentric style. Well, all that is in the past. I have absolutely no idea what Bendigus is going to look like, but I can't wait. People who argue that changing your outward look doesn't reflect on who you really are inside, I disagree with. This is changing who I am, and that is changing me as a person. Please welcome the new and improved Bendigus! Bendigus is now a tough guy. He's got his jeans on, he's got his biker helmet, he's got his army print shirt on. He is 100% embracing this look. <laughs> the moustache is gone, yay! Oh my god! He had this like intense sex eye stare. It, it was hot, he looked good. He put off the bikey bad boy, very good. Bendy. I'm losing my moustache, I did feel as if I was losing an old friend. And not having it is different. I will embrace it and try it, but it will be a very, very difficult journey to find the new me. Dolly, what do you think? Um, I think that's absolutely incredible. It's like, who are you? <laughs> We're going to have to meet again. I am really, really proud of him for embracing the change. For someone who is so set in his ways, he's really taken everything on board. All right, guys, it's time for our next souped up geek. He's an IT consultant with a new look that is sure to overload your memory. <laughs> Day one at the mansion, I was a very timid, shy young thing. And when I go through there, absolutely no one is going to believe that we are the same person. I can actually be as sweet and charming on the outside as I am on the inside. Please make him feel very welcome. This is Jimmy. <laughs> Just the shock and awe and disbelief on their faces it was one of the most incredible things I've ever experienced. It was absolutely amazing. Awesome. Who are you? What? He was beautiful. I've never seen such a transformation in my life. I'm really having trouble believing this is Jimmy. He just looks so different. Just looks so incredibly, amazingly good looking. It's been a long time since I've had that level of female attention on me. And yeah, I, I felt pretty hot. So, Mackenzie, does this live up to your expectations? He is beautiful. <laughs> you look amazing. Thank I you. I think Mackenzie might be uh, reconsidering her choice of boyfriend in Troy and, and realising that she's got a stud muffin in Jimmy as her partner in the game. Jimmy, how do you feel? I feel amazing. I, I feel absolutely incredible. Um, it, it, I went from werewolf to cool cat. This is, <laughs> this is, this is just one of the, the greatest days of my life. I, I, I look great, I feel incredible. I'm just, I, I'm blown away by, by everything that's been done. This is one of the biggest things that's ever happened to me. Well, Jimmy, congratulations on what really is truly a, an amazing transformation. Why don't you join the others? Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, everyone. Are you ready for this? Yes. 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 He's an engineer with a new look that will build a bridge to your heart. Oh. <laughs> 
I was really nervous for Gilbert because I know it's a really big thing for him. He's such a shy person and he he doesn't like a lot of attention. So all these people looking at him and judging him so instantaneously was going to be a big deal for him. For me, this makeover is all about confidence. I don't want to have to feel ashamed of the way I look. I want to feel comfortable in a room full of girls such that I might be able to go and talk to them in a normal, sociable way. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Gilbert. <laughs> Get exclusive live updates from our Mansion Insiders and check out never-before-seen footage from the house. Go to beautyandthegeek.com.au. Compared to the first day when we arrived at the mansion where I felt timid and bashful and awkward, my confidence at the moment is as high as it's ever been. This is definitely one of the biggest things that has ever happened to me. Ladies and gentlemen, <gasps> please welcome Gilbert! Oh my god. Oh no what? Shut up! Oh my god. I was in shock, I think. I didn't it just wasn't like nothing was going through my head. It was just like a tumbleweed. Oh my god, that's muscles. He looked awesome. He looked really confident. We always knew he had that body hiding under there, but he was just a little bit scared to show it. Holy smokes. Can we see your eyes? Oh my god! <laughs> I still have eyes. He's quite good looking. He really is. He's so muscly. <laughs> Can you flex for us? It's getting serious. <laughs> Sarah was very overwhelmed. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Sarah, what did you think of that? Smooth. <laughs> well, everybody says that he's got a good body and he's really muscly and of course he was always wearing lots of layers and never got the chance to check him out. But then when he came out in those tight fitting clothes, I was like, where have you been hiding? <laughs> Dolly, what do you think of the new look Gilbert? I am just in shock. <laughs> I was like, Gilly? You're sexy. <laughs> You're surprised. <laughs> I never knew I'd all those clothes. <laughs> you look good. You're rocking it. Thanks, Dolly. Seeing Gilbert without without all that hair everywhere, and he's got like a real trendy hairstyle. He's got the guns out. It was all working really well. You can head over and join the others. Yay! Yay. Good job. Thanks, Maddie. I can't even remember the Gilbert from day one. It's just so different now. Comparing Gilbert tonight to that person, you just, there's no comparison. You can't even do that. All right, guys. Before you go and celebrate, there is one more thing that we need to address. Whenever Bernie says anything, it's never good news. Maddie has some sad news she wishes to share with you all. Maddie had something to tell us. The way that Burnett said it, you knew it wasn't a positive thing. OK, as most of you guys know, um, I came into this competition really unwell and I'm still really unwell. So with all you guys getting so competitive, I just feel like I, I just can't give 100%, which is what Gilly deserves and all you guys deserve. So unfortunately, um, I've decided to leave the, the competition, the mansion, and I wish you guys all the best of luck. Obviously, it's really hard to leave everybody here because you become really, really good friends with them and, um, you know, that's, that's all you know once you're here. But I think it's for the best and I really feel like Gilly deserves more. So I, I just really want him to get that. He really deserves that. 
When Maddie said that she was pulling out of the competition, it was a massive shock to me because she hadn't, she hadn't spoken to me about it and I don't think I saw it coming. All right, Maddie, I understand that must have been a very difficult decision for you to make. I'm very sad to see you go. But with that, it is now time to say your goodbyes and leave the mansion. Thank you for being such a great competitor and we wish you the best for the future. Maddie came into this house quite unwell and with, with having such a busy, busy schedule in here and always having something to do, she's never really been able to, you know, rest and get better. Bye guys. See you, I needed to save for this time till makeovers and now that Gilbert's had his transformation, I feel like I can leave him. That must have been an excruciatingly difficult decision for Maddie to make. So, Gilbert, I suppose you're wondering what happens next. I don't know what this means for Gilbert um, going ahead in the competition. Obviously, he needs a partner, so I'm interested to see um, who it will be. With Maddie leaving, she will need to be replaced. And as per the rules of Beauty and the Geek, she will be replaced with the last eliminated beauty. It's been so long in this mansion, I couldn't remember who left last. I was like, is it Emma or Giselle? I didn't know, I was like confused. So, guys, please welcome back Giselle. Theo and Giselle used to be Maddie and my roommates. We were quite a tightly knitted group. So I think that Giselle and I should do well together. She's like an adopted sister. <laughs> I was so happy to, to see Giselle. There couldn't have been a better replacement for Maddie than Giselle, as much as I didn't want Maddie to leave. So Giselle, are you happy to be back? Yeah, I'm so happy to be back. It's like being back home. I'm so excited. <laughs> happy to see everyone. <laughs> What do you think of your new look partner, Gilbert? Oh my God, you look amazing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Anyways. Gilbert, how are you feeling about the new union that you have? It's great to have Giselle back in the house, but I'm definitely gonna miss Maddie. It's like I'm a new man now and I've got a new partner. It's like starting all over again. All right, now that all six geeks are looking their best, it's time to tell you about tomorrow's performance challenge. And this is no ordinary performance. It's time to put your newfound confidence to the test. Geeks, you'll be forming an all-geek dance troupe. That <laughs> 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 will see you putting together a routine and going the full Monty. Full Monty almost certainly indicates stripping. Almost certainly, I'm going to be getting somewhat naked. Coming up... I think you're the most beautiful girl who's ever actually talked to me. Will Gilbert finally have the courage to make a move on Dolly? And can made-over geeks go the full Monty? You've never played Snap before, have you? No. After everything sort of quietened down, I got a chance to go and spend some time with Gilbert. I think Gilbert's confidence is like through the roof right now. He's just had his makeover, he knows that I like him, that sort of a thing. So, um, yeah, he's a different guy. I think you're the most beautiful girl who's ever actually talked to me. Shut up. Oh, that's so sweet. I've just had my makeover. I don't have a beard. I'm feeling a lot more confident about Dolly now. <laughs> For the record, I was being honest. Oh, that's so nice of you. Mm, that was all true. It's an everyday I actually hear those things, so it's yeah. really nice. 
There have definitely been situations before where I've been able to kiss a girl that I liked but haven't in the end and that's all got to change. Yeah, I don't know. I do really like you. I like you too, Gilly. I'm glad that you think so. You're a good guy. <laughs> And then I kissed her. And she kissed me back. <laughs> I'm glad that we did that. Yeah, no, me too. That's definitely a good thing. Gilbert kissed me first, and then I kind of kissed him back. <laughs> Take things slow and see what happens. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad that you're here. <laughs> I love the new Gilbert. Hurry up, boys. Now that I've had the makeover, my morning beauty regime has come into existence. With uh, maintenance of the hair, my old routine is that, so that's about two seconds, and now it takes me about five minutes. Looking into the mirror now, I see a guy with a chin. I like him, he's a top bloke. What a great guy. I have incredibly high hopes for the new Jimmy. I think he's gonna be a, a real jet setter, go-getter type. How much longer will you be? My shoulder's going to be so moist after this. I, I reckon that one of the more important things would be the yeah, entrance. Yeah. The very For the full Monty challenge, we went upstairs and we went to go practice. I'm now partnered up with Gilbert, which I'm absolutely so excited about and I think I'm going to do so well. And then, like, bend your legs, your knees, and just, like, the boobs and bum at the same time, push out. Push. Yep. <laughs> you look stuck. I am stuck. <laughs> I'd really like to win this challenge. I've been on the chopping block every week and I'm a bit sick of it, so I think that immunity is a massively important thing to have at this stage. How determined are you to win this? I want to come back with a bang. Yes. Yeah. We don't win and we get nominated. I just, like, failed. I believe in miracles. Take it off for miracles, yeah, keep going. Dance moves Jordan was teaching me were more of the exotic variety. Since you came along, you sexy thing, and throw it. Jump! I believe in miracles. Bottom, bottom, bottom. Julian has as much rhythm as my hairbrush. Take the shirt off. I think I, I have some grace and good timing. Yeah, wink. I like the wink. I'm not sure about this challenge. Why is that? I just... It's not something I would do. It's not something I personally would ever do. If Helen doesn't want to do a challenge or feels comfortable about something, she just completely freaks out and says no straight away. The way I'm seeing it, I'll just, just go out, have a crack at it, and just have fun with it. I think you should just embrace this experience a bit a bit more open-mindedly. It's never, ever going to happen again. This is a real problem for me. We have one remaining challenge in this week. We haven't won the first challenge. If we don't win the second challenge, there is a real possibility that Troy and I will be nominated. It's sort of, you're not thinking about me. I still want to be here. I know, and I feel terrible because I don't want to let you down. I'm really torn. There's something that Troy doesn't seem to realise I'm actually incredibly uncomfortable with the idea of looking sexy. I definitely think if Helen doesn't put in an all, we'll be up for nomination, but it wasn't really that I was thinking about. I was just thinking about, if this is your last challenge, go out there, be confident, and if, you, if we go this week, you'll be happy to say you went out there and done a good job. Something I don't know if I can do.
Walking into the room, I was absolutely terrified. The venue looked like, um, you know, where people go to play jazz or comedians go to, to comed. Hello, everyone. Hi. Well, geeks, it's fair to say you've blown the beauties away with your makeovers and newfound confidence. But how do you think you'll go in front of a room jam-packed with a crowd in desperate need of entertainment? I think everything about this challenge is total fear. I can't dance, and a, a whole bunch of people are gonna look at me getting naked. Well, I hope you've been practicing your moves because this crowd will be voting for the most entertaining geek. Good luck, and we'll be seeing a lot more of you very soon. Hey, Bye, Danny. I was freaking out. I wasn't at all happy. I still wasn't sure I would go through with it. Give me your best. Where's it? So I hear we want geeks chant, and I'm thinking to myself, you have no idea how much geek you're about to get. Coming up. Oh my God, I think I'm about to die. It's Geeks Gone Wild. How far will they go? And who will be sent home tonight? We'll miss you, but uh, we're nominating. I couldn't believe their costumes. They looked a lot like the village people. I just knew from then we are in for a show. As the music starts, I'm just in the moment. It was just mind-numbingly uh, exhilarating. Bum was just going for it. It was very hot. I've never laughed that hard. I could feel my food coming off. When it was my turn, I thought, please don't laugh. The only miracle I could see happening out there was that people weren't throwing food at us. When it was my turn, I was just following orders and Jordan said, that's a great move, do that. He threw his top out into the crowd, it's like, rah! If you're not in it, you can't win it. Well, if nothing else, I'm pretty sure I can fake it. I was so proud that she'd done that. That was more than enough for me. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm having a heart attack. I think I'm about to die. I did the work with my truncheon. I'm loving it. I was about to take my shirt off and I thought, here goes nothing. Oh my goodness, <laughs> everyone was melting. You kind of don't know where to look when Gilbert came out. The crowd is in love with Gilbert right now and I am extremely jealous. Okay, sexy time. I think Dolly was just in shock. I think she went a little bit flustered.
The moment of derobing was a case of this has to happen now or it's never gonna happen. I'm very proud of the other geeks. It takes a lot of confidence to do a routine like that. I just could not do it. The beauties asked us all to turn around and show us what was going on back there. We obliged. Lachlan has the best bottom, of course. It's a really nice bottom, very nice bottom. I'm definitely going to ask the boys after the show um, for some little tips and tricks. For, um, I like their style. I am speechless. That was absolutely incredible. I was <laughs> <laughs> freaking terrified. No, you've done time. amazing. <laughs> Helen's done enough to get up to the top. I'm just I'm so proud of her. It was really great to see you all truly put your bodies on the line. I learned from this challenge that people can be extremely nervous about things and be quite adamant that they won't or can't do something and then do it and have a lot of fun. So, the audience have voted and the winner of the Geek Full Monty Challenge is Gilbert. Yeah! I definitely feel like I've achieved something today. I think that when I get back to the mansion I'll have no problem walking around in my underwear. So, Gilbert, congratulations. This means that you and your new partner, Giselle, are now safe from elimination and through to next week. Now, I'm sure you want to head back to the mansion and celebrate. I'll see you back there. I, bet. Thanks, I think it's a great start for the partnership between Giselle and I. A win straight up is definitely a good thing. Oh, my God, I'm so proud of you! <laughs> How are you feeling? Mm, I've been better. Jimmy's a great guy. He looks out for people in the mansion. He really takes it to heart when somebody's a bit upset. And I think it was pretty obvious that I was upset. Extremely so. I think it's going to get me nominated. Could do. If Helen goes tomorrow, I will be very, very upset. Um, it, it'll make me quite quite unhappy to see Helen go. If you do go, I know I'll be very sorry to see you go. I don't want to go. I have no intention of going. Good. Because you're awesome and I want to keep hanging around with you. Thanks, Jimmy. No problem. Jimmy and I have become close in the mansion. Everybody has really. It's like one big happy family. But some people have become closer than others and Jimmy and I are definitely very close. You're possibly one of my favourite people in the house and possibly one of my favourite people in the entire world. And I would really like it if you could stay. That would make me feel really, really good. You're a sweetheart, Jimmy. You really are. Still to come, it's nomination time. As a couple, they've weakened a little bit. Who will leave the mansion tonight? We nominate. Walking down the stairs for nomination, Sarah and I are feeling uh, quite vulnerable. I always, always get worried at nomination time. Absolutely anyone could be going. Hi, everyone. Hi, Hi. So, Jordan, you soared to new heights in the superhero challenge. 
and Gilbert bared it all in the full Monty challenge. Well done. But this means that you and your partners must now decide which two teams will be facing off in the elimination room this evening. Jordan and Julian, which team have you decided to send to elimination and why? The team that we have decided to nominate tonight, one individual is very thoughtful and very kind. Um, we just feel like you're not embracing some of the challenges as much as everyone else in the house and um, they just seem to be getting you more upset than helping you grow at times. And the other partner is one of the greatest people I've ever met, extremely nice. We'll miss you, but uh, we're nominating Helen and Troy. I knew it was coming, guys. I think the reason uh, given about Helen not giving her all in challenge is slightly true. You kind of have to push her into it when other geeks are just embracing it and just going for it. And Gilbert and Giselle, which team have you decided to send to elimination and why? And this was an extremely tough decision, Bernard. The geek's great. He's really come a long way, especially after his makeover. He looks brilliant and he's just ready to take on the world. We feel that as a couple they've weakened a little bit as time has gone on and that they're not showing each other the attention needed. It's with regret that we nominate our friends Jimmy and Mackenzie. It's okay. They see Mackenzie and I drifting apart. Um, what they don't always see is the fact that Mackenzie and I are almost literally at this point family. Jimmy, how are you feeling about the decision? I've made it so much further in this contest than I ever thought I would. I think I still have a lot to do here, but I'm not one to quit learning. So, hopefully I'll see you guys again. Please do. <laughs> so, Helen and Troy, Mackenzie and Jimmy, you're about to face off in the elimination room this evening. Take some time, pack your things, say your goodbyes, and I'll see you in the elimination room. I definitely want to stay here. I'm actually starting to feel a little bit more at ease in this other half of the world. So, uh, how's the study going? I've, I've read all the book. Okay. I'm not entirely sure it's useful. I can't remember. I think she's come the least furthest out of all the gigs, so she definitely needs to stay in here for a lot longer. One more week in this house would be awesome for you, I think. I, I really think it would be. For me to come in here, leaving with a um, possible long-term relationship with Mackenzie is just unreal. Okay. Let's do some study. Study away. Okay. Being here has literally transformed me. I don't want to go, so we're, we're taking on Troy and Helen. Yeah. Are you okay with this? Of course I'm not okay with it. <laughs> it's not the nicest thing. If I left today, I would be very upset that I was believing Troy. It's just gonna start going up against Troy. Exactly. Good luck, sweetheart. Good Love luck. you so much. Love you too, Jimbo. Let's do this. Let's do this. I'm very competitive, but I still believe that Helen and Troy deserve to be here, and I believe Jimmy and I deserve to be here, so we'll just have to wait and see who's, who's the better couple. I think the major thing that I still have left to learn in the mansion is self-confidence. It's something I definitely don't have. Troy and Helen, Mackenzie and Jimmy, welcome to the elimination room. You will each receive a series of questions. The team with the most correct answers stays. 
the losing team must leave the mansion and the competition immediately. All right, beauties, you'll be going first. Geeks, you can follow the action from the viewing room. Do I come in? Please. Oh, yeah. All right, let's begin. You will each receive two questions on the subject of superheroes. Troy, you'll be going first. Yep. Please choose a number. Oh, let's go with number one, thanks, Bernard. Good luck. I love you so much. I love you too, Jim James. Which superhero has an alter ego named Princess Diana? You know what? I actually know this one. Um, uh, Wonder Woman? You answered Wonder Woman? Yep. That answer is correct. Well done. Yes. <laughs> so, Mackenzie, for your first question, please choose a number. Number three, please. The Green Goblin is the arch nemesis of Spider-Man. So who is Lex Luthor the arch nemesis of? <laughs> you know this, Kenzie. You know this. Sorry, Mackenzie. The Green Goblin is the arch nemesis of Spider-Man. So who is Lex Luthor the arch nemesis of. <laughs> you know this, Kenzie. You know this. Superman? Superman is correct. Well done. Yes! yes! Go, you good thing. OK, Troy, for your second question, this is a picture question. Oh. The letters in this anagram Make up which superhero? You have 10 seconds, starting now. Uh-oh. Spider-Man? Oh, no. Poor Troy. That's time. Spider-Man. You answered Spider-Man? Yeah. That answer is correct. <sighs> he didn't look at all confident. <laughs> Go Troy. <laughs> so, Mackenzie, Heath Ledger won an Oscar for playing which Batman villain? You know this. The Joker. Straight away. You answered the Joker. That answer is correct. Well done. <laughs> Geeks, please join us in the elimination room. <laughs> so, both Troy and Mackenzie had flawless rounds, which means you'll both start on two points. So, beauties, please retire to the viewing room. Thank you. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck, man. May the best man win. Good luck. Good luck, man. All right, Helen and Jimmy, you will each receive two questions on the subject of showbiz. If at the end of the two questions the scores remain tied, we will move into a tie-break round. Helen, you'll be going first. Please choose a number. Number three. Does she know much about showbiz? No, I don't think so. This is a picture question. The Hollywood sign has been jumbled along with one extra letter. What letter shouldn't be there? You have 10 seconds starting now. W. Oh, no. Isn't W in Hollywood? Is that your final answer? W is my final answer. W is quite correct. Oh, there must have been two Ws in it. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Well done. Jimmy, for your first question, please choose a number. Number two, please, Bernie. He'll be so upset if he doesn't get them correct. What piece of furniture is rumoured to be used by producers to seduce wannabe actors who desperately want a role? That would be the casting couch. The casting couch is correct. 
<laughs> How on earth did he know that? Helen, here's your second question. Which current Broadway show is the most expensive ever made? I don't know if you know that. I'm gonna say Wicked. Is it Cats? Someone's gonna guess, Elle. She has to guess. I don't actually know many Broadway shows at all, so I'm gonna guess Wicked. You answered Wicked? That answer is incorrect. The correct answer is Spider-Man, Turn Off the Dark. So, Jimmy, with this question, the game hangs in the balance. Obviously, it's number one. Which body part would you suggest breaking to wish an actor good luck? Oh, you're kidding. That would be a leg, Bernard. I love you, Jimmy. Love you too. You answered leg, and that is quite correct. Love you. So, Jimmy and Mackenzie, it was a close one, but you answered enough questions correctly to win the elimination round. Congratulations. Thank you. Troy and Helen, you have been eliminated, and it is now time to say goodbye to your competitors and friends and leave the mansion immediately. Thank you so much for being such wonderful competitors on Beauty and the Geek Australia. Thanks, Ben. Thanks, Ben. Oh, it's not so bad. Hi, guys. <laughs> See you soon, OK? <laughs> <laughs> getting back to the real world will be nice, but I'm uh, really going to miss Mackenzie a lot. I'm not sure if I'm more than just a geek. Apparently, I'm one of the most beautiful women Jimmy's ever seen, which is bizarre. <laughs> I don't think he's read a fashion magazine in a while. Um, I think we're all a little bit more than geeks and a little bit more than beauties. I think there's facets to everybody. Yeah. Corey, you have been probably the most awesome person I have ever met. And Helen, you are the smartest person <laughs> I've ever met. Yeah. <laughs> Do the handshake. Which one? That one. <laughs> <laughs> it still hurts. <laughs> Next week, the geeks are in for a shock. Oh. Race to the finish line. Go do it! Get up there! But has Lachlan and Jordan's romance hit a bump? I think this could be my first breakup. I just want to be left alone. Okay.